What is up everyone? Welcome back to Trail Tested, where I test gear for the very first time and give you my initial thoughts. Today, we're teaming up with Nike to talk about three of their shoes. Two of them are road shoes, one is a trail shoe. Lots of miles to run, lots of stuff to talk about. This is Trail Tested. All right, so I mentioned this is a special Trail Tested. That's because we're partnering with Nike to talk about a variety of their shoe line from road two trails. We're gonna start with this. This is the Infinity Run 4. I'm excited about this shoe. I don't think I've reviewed it on this channel yet. The new React X midsole material, this nice stretchy fly knit upper, the color and the look of the shoe is awesome. Then we're gonna switch over to some trails, take up the Wild Horse 8 for some single track action, great big lugs, uh, really nice durable upper, love the shoe. Then we're gonna finish with the Invincible Run 3, which has that Zoom X midsole, very soft, very cushioned, very bouncy. This should be a lot of fun and I'm excited to try this one and finish off with this. So we have a lot to talk about today, lots of miles to run, and very little time to do it. Let's go for a run. All right, we're gonna start with the Infinity RN4. So I have not put these shoes on yet. I have not tried them at all. Let's take these guys, throw them away. Yeah. The laces all out. All right, so Nike actually recommends that you size up about a half size in these shoes. I did. And uh, these actually feel really good. I'd say that the 11 and a half for me is right on the money. Nice fly knit, very accommodating. Tongue, very soft. Oh yeah, so much bounce. All right, watch has started. Let's mix it up. First few steps. Oh yeah, okay. Nice and soft. Oh yeah, okay, so I can kind of feel the responsiveness of that React X midsole. It's very soft and comfortable. The one thing I'm actually already noticing and really like is the roll through on each step. I can feel that shoe want to roll me forward. That's a nice sensation. Initial thoughts on this upper. I love it. I love the fly knit. It's always been really, really nice. Very stretchy, very comfortable, very accommodating for those of you who have like wider forefeet or midfoot tightening issues. This new design on that. Upper is really great. The tongue is really soft and stretchy as well. There's actually like a narrow band of fly knit across the midfoot that sort of acts as a gusset, which is really nice, at least in getting some of that midfoot lockdown. Yeah, I kind of feel myself wanting to stay up on my forefoot, which is really nice. Across the street, always be safe, look both ways. Man, what a day. Yesterday we had tons of rain. One of my favorite things to do is go for a run after big rain. Today is no different. We're gonna cross here, look both ways, play it safe. As you can see behind me, it's the Issaquah Community Center, also known as the Tiger Claw Start Line. This is where we start our trail race every year and runners actually head the exact direction that we're headed. Super fast start. It's just awesome to witness you can get people all the way down this bike path just before they hit the trails. It's like a mile or so, just perfectly smooth, runnable surface. And that is also why we decided to start today's run on the surface to test these shoes where they were designed to go. So another thing that I really like about this area, when you get to vary up the terrain simply by calling an audible. If you want concrete, road, tempo runs, something for speed work, you've got it. If you want gravel, easy rollers, single track, or vert, you have that too. Oh, this is cool, check this out. Okay, so that Troll is a brand new art installation that's being built right now. I think it's done in two days. The artist is Thomas Danbo, architect, builder, sculptor, that's made those Trolls all around the world, and Issaquah gets one, which is pretty cool. And that's right there along the Tiger Claw course and along our trail today. How cool is that? All right, so we're actually we're actually transitioning from a mile of road to a mile of gravel. I kind of wanted to take this pair of shoes, the Infinity RN4, onto the surface specifically to test that stability. So this React X midsole is a bit denser, more responsive. The shoe is very stable. So taking it onto a little bit of a variated surface kind of helps test that stability. They're great. I mean, not that this is incredibly undulating, but just throwing a bit of a curveball at these shoes. I'm loving it, it's great. Let's go on to some lower single track here. This is where the local high school does a lot of their cross country races and stuff. I always just like coming back in here. All the rocks are marked with white paint, which is very helpful. If you've watched this channel long enough, you know 
I love trail running. That's like my bread and butter, right? But I do probably half my miles on roads, gravel, treadmill, and then the other half on trails. So finding shoes that can kind of do a little bit of everything, it's great. And I never like to pigeonhole a pair of shoes into one style of running. That if you can find shoes that can kind of bridge that gap between, it's so much more fun. Darren behind the camera and I were just talking about how much we love the way Nike shoes look. Their designers do such a good job, but they're too white. Let's get these dirty, shall we? This is not doing anything. <laughs> hey, well, that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> just trying to make them look like I'm running them a lot longer than one mile, two miles. Uh, left, went the wrong way. Oh, I can really feel the bounce in that React X. It's very tight bounce. All right, we'll hang it right here. Last three quarters-ish of a mile before swapping shoes. And man, it's humid. I mentioned that it rained yesterday. Love it when it rains here, especially after a long period of just dry and hot, which it's been. But usually the next day, if the temperature increases, it becomes super humid. So I'm sweating so much today. Yeah, you know, I gotta commend the Infinity RN4s here on their outsole, little lugs, perfect for the road. They get enough grip on surfaces like this. They're comfortable, they're not intrusive. I definitely felt the stickiness on tarmac, which is nice. I can see these kind of fitting into a rotation as trainer with a little bit of extra stability, some ground feel, and some responsive propulsion. It'll be interesting to compare these to the Invincibles, which we'll do here in a second. But first, back to the car. We're gonna get some vert and some single track in the Wild Horse Eats. Open it up a little bit. Yeah, nice and stable through there. It mixes in well to this type of terrain. Time to switch shoes. That was a very pleasant experience in the Infinity RN4s, which you can tell are still bright white, despite the fact I coated them in dirt. Time to switch it up. Get some trail miles in the Wild Horse 8. The Infinity RN have the React X. The Wild Horse 8 have the React midsole. Pull these bad boys up. Yeah, that upper, that's such a good upper. These tongues are great. They're, they've always been very protective. You can tell they've got that extra layer on top. Perfect for trail running, trail racing. I'll double lace them just because the laces are nice and long, which is an improvement for sure. True to size, size 11, fit perfectly. A little parking lot jump. I feel good. Okay, water, key, hope. Let's go. Start that watch again. We're gonna stay on trails for these. We're gonna do some vert and then some descending. Mix it all in together. Yeah, you know, I kind of like these already. A little softer underfoot than I expected based off of previous models. I've always loved the Wild Horse. I ran the last 50 miles of my Cascade Crest 100 finish in an earlier model of the Wild Horse. So I kind of have a love for them. The lugs on these, good bite, good lug bite. I am just straight up sweating through my shirt. Hope you enjoy the sweat spots. Let's see if I made a smiley face yet. Smiley face, boop, boop, boop. That's how you know you're getting a workout. This is a short but punchy climb, but this good's like techie bits. And right now everything's a little wet, which is actually helping get good grip. Yeah, nice. Love mixing in some trails. Do a road run. Love it. No, it's my wife. Hi. Hello. Love you. Good to see you. She's out here getting some miles in as well. Focusing more on trails today, so I kind of mixed it up. Such a good day for trails. Good day for running. Got the sun coming out now. Oh, love it. So pretty, Issaquah, so green. And we're right on the cusp of fall. Love the shoulder season here in the Northwest. Everything's beginning to change. The temperatures are beginning to go sub 90. Everything is right again. 
Hello. Are you working? Okay, you're working. All right, just about to top out on this climb. A little overgrown. Initial thoughts on the Wild Horse 8 as we roll into some flat, undulating single track. I like them. This React midsole, I'm familiar with it. I know how it feels. There's enough underfoot here to provide that protection and comfort. Those lugs are chunky. So I feel the grip in this soft, sort of damp dirt. We'll have to test it later on, maybe on some bridges, rocks, roots, and stuff like that. This is a very comfortable version of the Wild Horse. I would kind of classify it as more reduced than previous versions. Log, I like it. I like it. Bring the camera close. It's a bit narrower platform than I'm used to in the Wild Horse. The Wild Horse has always sort of been the bigger brethren to the Terra Kiger, but I really like the nimbleness of this one. I can see this being an ultra choice. There's even this little detail. You can check off your ultra distances as you knock them out. 50K, 50 miler, 100K, 100 miler. So far so good. All right, just relacing here real quick uh, before we hit the descent. So we're gonna give them a good yank. Great midfoot fit. Really like the upper on this one. It's very similar to the Zagama. Tag, let's go. Whee! Feels good. Good confidence in this. Fun. I like it. Whew. Through the wood gate. Oh yeah, steeple runner. Here we go. This is a fun part right here. It gets very steep, very quick. <laughs> it's a lot steeper than I remember. And muddy. But oh man, these are gripping great. I'm gonna open up. Woo! Those like wouldn't let me slide. Treat. From dirt back to gravel as we uh, cover the last half-ish mile towards the car where we're going to switch into the Invincible 3s. Let's kind of summate my thoughts on the Wild Horse 8. Very capable. Always liked this shoe. Have a long history with it. Eights are so far they're kind of exceeding my expectations. A lot more testing to do in them, of course. Full reviews coming of all of these shoes today, later down the road. But today, the road's been fun. Look, I can even slalom. <laughs> Skid, run. All right, last quarter mile. Let's go down to the parking lot. Wipe up all the sweat. Oh, let that wind cool me off, dry me down. Wait, reverse that. In my head, that looks so much more badass than it does in person, I bet. Time to take off the wild horse, put on the Invincibles, last couple miles. All right, let's pull these guys off. Still a little clean, if you ask me. I mean, yeah, that's better. Can't wait to try the Invincible 3s out. All my experience in previous versions, been nothing but a delight. I believe these to be no different, but we shall see. First time putting them on. I have excitement in me. I'm locked down good. Plenty of Zoom X midsole. 43% improvement on carbon footprint with these shoes, which is cool. The React midsole and the Wild Horse, also very fun. The Zoom X. It's just been one of my favorites. Whoa. Am I jumping six feet high? Let's get the last few miles. Get that water, shake out those legs, start that watch. <laughs> that laugh is a laugh of joy. I mean, it's a joke how soft these are. When we're talking about what kind of runs we do in any given week, workouts, long runs, tempos, just getting in miles on the days in between. Look both ways, these shoes are just kind of built to do a lot of it. So comfortable, great for those long days. I'm feeling the propulsion in these. So comparing them to something like the Infinity RN4, that shoe rolled me through. These kind of bounced me through. None of this gravel's getting picked up. Everything's sort of getting sucked into that soft cushion. If I had to go log a 16 mile road run this weekend in preparation for a marathon or something, these would be the shoes I'd grab right now. And they look good. Look at those. Look at these shoes. New ankle collar on these, which I am enjoying so far. Good lockdown through the ankle. Perfect afternoon. You can see Tiger Mountain off in the distance. See the gliders that are launching off of Poo Poo Point. This is sort of the center of town. And we're revisiting the Issaquah Community Center here, AKA the start line to Tiger Claw. It's where we have our arch, finish line, vendors, sponsors, brands, all that stuff, medals, trophies, award ceremony, right here in the grass. You know, another thing that's sort of a shocker with this shoe, especially this version, it's big, it's a big shoe. 
and when you pick it up, you expect it to be heavy. I think with this version, it's lighter than the last version. I'm not sure. You know what, future Ethan, put the weight of this shoe, size 11, on the screen right now. It's pretty light. I think it's just got a lot of volume in that midsole. Very soft, very cushioned. All right, we're coming back up on the Thomas Dambo sculpture. Can't pass by this thing without taking a photo. So anyone running Tiger Claw, you get to run right by that. Pretty cool. Oh man, the temperature's cooled off, but my sweat rate has not. <sighs> good forward momentum. Really good when I take a break. Really nice. Okay. Okay, transitioning again from concrete to gravel. This would be an interesting test with these because there's so much more midsole, they might absorb some of these bumps and rocks a little bit easier, but they might be a bit more susceptible to rock, like literal rocking. All right, transitioning back to dirt. Should be fun following that cross country course. Let's see if we can eat up some rocks and some roots and how they fare. And back onto gravel. These sort of adapt to the gravel surface a bit better. Road, perfect. Gravel, it works. Last a little bit here on gravel. Thank you, Nike. Getting us hooked up with these three pairs of shoes. Super fun to get to run my initial miles in them on camera. Get to bring Darren along for the run and get to make another trail tested. Love it, thank you. Let's sort of wrap up my thoughts, not just on the Invincible, but maybe on all three shoes. Lots more to say about these three shoes as I put more miles in them. So expect full reviews. I really like the Infinity more than I thought I would. It does adapt to multi-surface as well. That upper, fantastic, very soft. Wild Horse 8, surprised. Very comfortable, very grippy. Kind of works in all situations for trail. Can go long, can stay short. Wouldn't be surprised if they do well on techie surfaces as well. And then these, Invincibles. Man, they're just so good for long, sustained efforts. And you just want to enjoy the miles. Big old smile. Back to the car, wrap it up. Just under eight miles. Wonderful weather, good company, good shoes. So much fun. There's the car. That's it, my friends. That's a wrap. And that, my friends, is it for today's very special trail tested. Loved testing these shoes for the very first time from the Infinity Run 4, Wild Horse 8, and the Invincible 3. Uh, if you have any questions about these shoes and you want to get a pair for yourself, there are links in the description. They are affiliate links. Of course, they cost you nothing, but they do help the channel out. So consider those if you have any interest in any of these shoes. Remember, full reviews coming for each of these shoes to this channel. So make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, do all the good stuff that people tell you to do on YouTube channels. Uh, regardless, get out there, have some fun miles. Train hard, race harder, party hardest. See you on the next one. I mean, I got there.